So we have our next quest for our characters, and this one is going to be a Red 13 quest. Yet again, another one where he doesn't have a whole lot to do in the sense that it's not a quest about him. Just like the one about Tifa wasn't really about Tifa, the one for Barrett wasn't really about Barrett. These are characters that are just sort of present and have some sort of secondary connection to what's going on here. I guess maybe you helping these people out makes um, these characters feel good about themselves or something, but it really doesn't even make a lot of sense for Red 13 here. You'll see in a minute. I am going to be chopping this up though, so be prepared for that. Hey, glad to see Shinra hasn't got you yet. Seeing as you're here, mind help me with something? I'm Oliver, by the way, owner of this farm. Got fiend trouble. Every night it comes after my livestock. At least I assume a fiend's to blame. Think you could find and deal with it? Not much, save the bastard's smart as hell. Managed to evade every trap I've set. Even hired a hunter to get rid of it, but that was a bust. The ecosystem here is something special, worth protecting. Don't want Shinra messing it up, and I'm not afraid to say so out loud. One day, some like-minded folks came around and put me in touch with Broden and Avalanche. Impressive the way that committee is able to connect people. Appreciate it. Is that your dog there? Mind if I pet him? I don't, but he might. Who's a good boy? It's you. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me he's not all bark. Hey, you know, your pup might be able to track the fiend's scent. Maybe try sniffing around the scene of the crime. So what we got here is Red 13 jumps ahead and he can smell out parts of this quest, although he's not really going to be relying on his nose for this. Here. So? It's been several days since the attack, so the scent isn't fresh. Other animals have come and gone as well. This won't be easy. Hmm. Think a chocobo could handle it? Hmm. Their sense of smell is indeed impressive, but this trail is still quite poor. Though if you wish to try, I won't stop you. still have a faint impression of the scent. Together we can find the beast. So I'm gonna jump forward down to the destination and the monster that we are fighting is down this way. And it's another one where it's like, okay, so Red 13 is involved. He does make mention of how like his sense of smell is dulled because of all the time that he spent in Hojo's lab but it doesn't have a whole lot to do with him, and helping these people doesn't really seem like Red 13 really should care. i tell you what, though, this boss, uh, this, I guess you call it the boss, was a really a some bitch. I had a, I actually died, like, twice trying to kill this thing. Something I will say about this is this game is actually quite a bit more difficult so far than Final Fantasy VII Remake. For the most part, the Final Fantasy games haven't really been that difficult the last... 20 something years. They seem to be made like in a way to make them accessible to more people. And the 7 remake, the previous game in this series, didn't seem to really really any different. I don't know if I died much at all in that game. As, as usually if I did it was against like a proper boss, not against just some side quest monster that you fight outside of a cave. But I died here. And the game does demand more of you than I expected. The ability to dodge, the ability to know when to dodge, to know when to block, to know when to fire off your abilities, to know when to switch party members, to know how to equip your characters, because it's not just about grabbing the best equipment, it's about 
knowing which sword to use, which uh, glove to use, which materia to equip your character with. So, it's in a sense, it doesn't play like like a FromSoft Souls game, but the the kind of spirit is alive where like it the game doesn't just let you slam through it. It does put up some difficulty, and um, maybe my timing was a little bit off, but like it is. It does require some effort to do it. What? It's my sense of smell. Since my imprisonment in the Shinra building, it hasn't been the same. Before, I wouldn't have had any trouble tracking that scent. Now, though... <laughs> Perhaps this bird is willing to take on an apprentice. Oh yeah, I do get the connection to Red 13. But it does seem a little bit strange that I get approval from Red 13 by completing this mission. I mean, it seems like he doesn't really even like this farmer. <laughs> so we're helping this farmer, a guy Red doesn't even like, and we get approval with him. It's, it's a little bit weird. I guess they had to shove this approval mechanic in somewhere, and this is the best they could do. You got him, did you? Made that bastard pay? Nice go. And I bet you were a big help too, weren't you? <laughs> You'll be singing a different tune when you see what I got for you. Here. Don't worry, I didn't forget you. Changing gears a bit, but uh, I heard Rowan's not feeling so hot. If you swing by calm again, mind checking on him? Well, Red got some meat on a bone, so I guess he got something out of this. 